hopefully you guys have been practicing your alphabeto with the songs at home, and that's a great way to practice, but it's also important to practice your letters out of order. So I wanted to talk to you about some ideas for that. We happen to have a lot of letters at our house, don't we? Because we're learning them for the first time. Yep. So we've got these cool cookie cutters. Yep. A. A. Ache. Ache. With a B. S-A. With a B. But um, B. we've got these magnet letters. A piece. I opened my case. Oh. Uh, Weston's got this really no, cool case he's going to show you in a minute. We've got flashcards. So there's, at my house, we have lots of different options, but you might not have as many options at mm -hmm. your house. So I want to talk to you about some other ideas. I bet you have books, and hopefully you've been doing lots of reading oh, over this break. No. It's okay. No. For example, we've got this cool Paw Patrol book, Pay Pay Paw Patrol. Um, we could practice initiales. This guy's name is Rocky. That's Ere. This is Marshall. That's M-A. We've got... Minnie Mouse, M-A-M-A. -M -A. Daisy Duck, Day Day. Maybe, no, that's not nice. Maybe you've got magazines. And let's see. This gal's name is Cecile Richards. That's Say Ere. If you don't have any of that stuff, I bet you have paper and pencil. And you could just write the letters on a little piece of paper, crumble them up, put them in a gorro here, and pull them out and tell us. Y. Jota. So those are just a few ideas for you, but I can't wait to see what you come up with as well. Adios. Adios.